to help these young men and their guests here today to choose wisely, for this key choice will affect the kind of life each will have and the future that will result from their efforts. Bless them as their journey now takes them from prep. Let them carry prep's spirit in their hearts. Let them come to know that spirit is none other than your own Holy Spirit, which has given fire to Jesuit education, excellence, compassion, and conscience for centuries. And on behalf of my fellow classmates, I would like to welcome all of those visiting Fairfield Prep and sharing this special day. Today, they join the class of 2013 in embracing the future and what it has in store for us while remembering our time spent here at Prep. It is at Fairfield Prep where you have seen us mature into the young men we have become today. 1963 does seem today so long ago. So let's take a brief walk down memory lane. The fifth Grammy Awards were held on May 16th, and the Grammy for Record of the Year was Tony Bennett's I Left My Heart in San Francisco High on a hill it calls to me The Drifters Up on the Roof when this old world starts getting me down And people are just too much for me to face I climb way up to the top of the stairs And all my cares just drift into space And remember what Prep's tuition was your freshman year? Ready? $325. Yep, the good old days. And I am thankful that today we can all share this wonderful milestone in your lives. Truly, you have served Fairfield Prep incredibly well. And when you arrive at those pearly gates and meet St. Peter, remind him that you're from Fairfield Prep and that you're a man for others. On behalf of the entire Prep community, it is a great pleasure to welcome each one of you back to Prep. Congratulations to our Golden Class 1963. And may God bless you and keep you in the palm of God's hand. John W. Cushman. Brotherhood so special is that we've all been through such different prep experiences. Whether you've brought the Quick Center to its feet in the performing arts, struggled through hand cramps and D minuses in Bruce Jaffe's legendary American history course, explored new meanings and found new friendships on Kairos and service trips, made mixtapes for us to bump along to. Proudly represented prep on one of the many tremendous athletic teams. We've won a state or SEC title in almost every sport over the past four years. Or immerse yourself into any of the other incredible opportunities here at PrEP. Each individual of the 201 that sits here today has helped weave this special class into the fabric of this fantastic school. We are bold, determined, loving. We are brothers. As we look forth to the future, we must prepare for failures and shortcomings, understanding that much like growing pains, they are necessary hurdles we must navigate through on our journey to our own heights of success. We must be open to new challenges, while always remaining true to ourselves as we wander down our new paths. Let this guiding light illuminate our canvas as we paint our future. Let it ignite change as we go forth and set the world on fire. 
The golden class of 1963's presence here today reminds us that although we are the graduating class of 2013, we are all prep brothers forever. Thank you. and especially the class of 2013. I come from Boston, Boston Strong. But I know this, young man, with your help and your efforts, evil will never triumph over good. Goodness and justice will always triumph in the end. Young men, you are good people, and that's your challenge to do something to help a hurting planet and hurting people. That's your challenge for the future. As Father Hanwell said, within two weeks I mark my 50th anniversary of my priesthood as a Jesuit. And I spent 42 years of my priesthood here at Fairfield Prep. And I'm proud that I spent them here because men like you can make a difference. You can heal our planet and help the hurting people who look for inspiration and help. God has given you the talent, His grace, and the opportunity to change this world. Go forth with His blessings. Bring Jesus to those who wait. Bring joy to all those who meet. Bring love to the world. As I conclude, I will always have you and all those who have gone before you for the past 45 years since I came to prayer. I'll always have you in my mind, in my heart, and in my prayers. So I conclude, not with my words, but you know, I mentioned Simon and Garfunkel early on. He wrote another song, The Sounds of Silence. And he said, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls of tenement. But now, they're written on posters. And there's a young man, Martin Richard, who was a prophet. He was killed at that marathon he left us something and you should remember his words we all remember them when you go forth go forth with his commitment wherever you go make his words come true you know the words we all know the words no more hurting people. Peace. God bless you. Christopher Campbell. James Patrick Cannon. Flavio Pierce. Mark Henry G.
John Thomas Myers. Patrick John Miles. Congratulations. Let them have no other God before you, whether nation or party or state or church. Let them seek no other peace but the peace which is yours, and make them its instruments, opening their eyes and their ears and their hearts, so that they should know always what work of peace they may do for you. We pray this in the name of Christ. Amen.